Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about selecting your lesson access. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's go to your course outline. Again, it'll say product outline, but I really like to refer to it as course outline. And go to your any of your modules. Let's just start with module one. And you'll see this check mark over to the right. I want you to hover over it. And now you're going to have some options in which to disperse or disseminate your content. So we can hit published, which means it's going to be available immediately upon purchase of the course, or we can hit drip. So if we're going to hit drip, so for instance, if you have a course that delivers content once a week or module once a week, you're going to determine how many days here. So Let's just say that, let's just go back here. Let's, for instance, let's go to module two and let's pretend that each of these is getting dripped once a week. Okay, so it's a five week program. So, module two, I would go down here, click on the gray check mark, and I would say drip. And I would say for this one, seven days and hit save. So, that would be seven days after the student purchases the course, this would now be active. And for module three, we'll do the same thing, hit drip. This time it's going to be 14 days. And of course, you're going to continue on. I'll just do the last one more and it's 21 days. So that is how you would drip your lessons. So now let's go for it. For instance, let's go for say publish. That's fine. It gets published right away. So they would for a drip lesson immediately get module one because it's published and then seven days, 14 and 21 days, they get all the other lessons. All right, now the other option is to say lock. And what is locked? That means it is locked where you have to sequentially go through the lesson in a certain order. So for instance, if you have, you can't go to lesson 10 without doing lesson nine, you can't be at lesson nine unless you go to lesson eight and so on and so forth. So you're just gonna say it's locked by a particular post or lesson. And of course, you know, I haven't really done much of the lessons here, but your lessons would be coming up in here and then you would just say hit lock. So that means that you could not go to, here, let me do this one. Okay, and that's not active. Oh, I know why, because there's no other, there's no other lessons before this. So for instance, let's try for this one. Let's hit lock. Again, I don't have, there we go, getting started with Kajabi. So once I am done with module one, this is now, un, will be unlocked, okay? So I have to complete all of module one in order to uh, get to module two. And I would do the same thing once I added lessons in here. I would say you cannot open this until this lesson is completed. All right, now let's see. I think that's really the only options other than saving it as a draft. All right, so that is how you determine when your course material can get accessed. I'll see you in the next lecture.